On the 6th April, a second supersonic capsule ejection was made, speed having been stepped up to Mach 1.6 and altitude to 45,000 feet. Initially, the ejection appeared to be a repeat of the first supersonic trial with all systems functioning properly. More violent motions of the capsule than normal were observed after release, especially in the form of a very high pitch-up. Not fully realized at first, the extent of malfunction began to come to light only when a detailed examination of the animal revealed two minor fractures of the pelvic bones, probably from lateral accelerations. A minor hemorrhage in the neck muscles from whiplash action was also found, as well as evidence of nosebleed. The policy of testing under widely different conditions, but all of the most demanding character, was continued in the ejection of July 27th. Stability was good through burnout, and deployment of the recovery chute appeared normal. Probably attributable to the improper impacting position of the capsule, internal injuries of some severity to the bear were at first reported. 